Hey, Gemini gang. What's happening, Geminis? All Gemini placements. Take what resonates. Leave the rest. Take it how it resonates with you in your situation, okay? Personal readings, one-on-ones with me are on my website. Check out the affiliate links, you guys. If you are wanting to try Mystic Sense or one of the other ones, um, yeah, hit those likes, hit those likes, hit those likes, you guys. Um, hit that subscribe to Gemini's. All right, y'all, let's see what's going on. Also, guys, my social medias are in the description box, all right? I have no other social medias. I also never book readings via your DM. You can book a reading through my email or through my website, all right? It's a lot of scams going on, you guys. So please don't get scammed out here in these social media streets, all right? So first things first, we have honesty. Mm-hmm. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. Absolutely. Oh, then we got that pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. Self-esteem. Okay. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. And then we're seeing growth here on the bottom. So, so far I'm kind of feeling the energy, Geminis. I'm kind of feeling the energy. Let's see what's going on. If this is gonna be all you, or if it's gonna be someone else that comes up. Let's see. Okay, there's that full card. We saw that in the last read. Oop, and that Knight of Wands, too. Oh, oh, okay. Cards is flipping over. The King of Cups. Oh, Gemini, someone loves you. Eight of Pentacles. The Seven of Wands and the Three of Cups I'll put back. Um, but yeah, the High Priestess on the bottom. So, Geminis, um, first and foremost, I feel like a lot of you guys are um, feeling like a new you, Geminis. You're feeling like um, the world is your oyster. That's kind of the vibe I get from the Fool card. Um, some of you are getting to this place of acceptance. Like if, if something has ended with you, you're getting to a place of you're accepting that it's over and it's and it's probably time to move on and do something else, um, Geminis. Some of you could be getting very balanced within yourselves. I don't know why I just started feeling very happy. That's just, so, a lot of you guys are really in a, in a really great space and if you're not Geminis, you will be very soon, okay? Um, yeah. Also be mindful too of uh Gemini's of the opinions of others. Okay? Because I feel like like I've picked up in other readings for you guys, there's something here that you want to do, but you're kind of, you know, worried about what other people think or what other people are going to say. Um, but this can also be too Gemini's if, if you're dealing with a Scorpio Aries, uh Pisces Cancer, it could be any sign of course, but that's the energy that I'm seeing. Someone is wanting, like, um, to not have their spot taken. Like, someone wants to keep their spot in your life. Uh, Gemini's. I feel like somebody's pride, because the King of Cups is here under the pride card. So, I feel like somebody's pride may have kept them from... Um, showing their feelings to you or telling telling you that they care or that they love you or whatever the case may be they could definitely be a Scorpio but I feel like they whatever it is they are working on that yep the death card on the bottom whatever it is they are working on that um, Gemini's whoa mm hmm six of swords yeah Gemini's you're ready for healing you're ready to move on child <laughs> The Two of Cups, whoa. So for some of you, this is someone else involved. The Moon mm -hmm. and the Emperor. Could be an Aries for some of you. The Ten of Wands on the bottom. Holy shit. Somebody doesn't want anybody else to come and take their spot. Yep. <laughs> 
Gemini's. Now, this Eight of Pentacles here with the Moon, I'm taking it two ways. This person could be working on something um, for you without telling you, but I feel like it is something positive, you know, like it, like something psychological. Um, the other thing is, like, this person is working on, on their emotions. Like, they're working on something emotional. Um, they're working on trying to be more expressive, trying to be more open with you, trying to be more vulnerable uh, with you, Gemini's. Trying to put their pride aside, because I feel like this person may operate from their pride, but this person loves you a lot. They just don't tell you. They don't express it. And so it kind of leaves you wondering, well, how do they feel? What do they want? You know, and when you when you're that when you're in that energy, when you leave someone, uh, you know, and constant uncertainty, it makes them not want to be around you um, long term. And I feel like that's what happened here. Gemini, someone may have pushed you away um, or whatever the case may be, because they, they always have this trying to leave you uncertain and they may not even be doing it on purpose. Uh, Gemini's but I feel like this person does operate from their pride from their ego like they're too proud to to say you know hey I love you or too proud to um, you know show objects of, of affection or whatever the case may be but I feel like they're working on that though Gemini's because I feel like they don't want somebody to come and take their spot and that's just bottom line I wonder if this is going to be a cut to the chase reading like the last one. I love it. I love it. Yep. Wow. 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 You guys. The Justice card. Mm -hmm. The King of Pentacles. Yeah. This this is a person that you're dealing with. Well, duh. <laughs> I would hope it's not a fucking animal or something. Um. Yeah. Th there is someone else here involved. That's what I meant. <laughs> The Hierophants on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Heavy Taurus. I see Taurus, Scorpio, Libra. Uh, all the water signs. Aries. Yeah. But seeing the water, I feel like it could be that um, there's something in the works here that's, that is emotional. Like, there there's, has something to do with emotions. But I'm seeing, like, something here that has to do with something being hidden as well with this high priestess up here uh gemini's and i feel like in the moon too the moon can be something that's hidden um but i feel like i don't feel like it's negative per se but i feel like this person is like working on something for you like in secret they're not telling you about it um gemini's it's, it's just they're just going to pop up and be like hey you know this is what i did like something like that It's like somebody's like legit trying to boss up. But it makes me wonder too, Gemini's, if you have other options. Uh, because we see the King of Pentacles, the King of Cups, the King of Cups fucking twice. And the Emperor. Mm, this is something emotional. This person is learning how to be more vulnerable. This person feels very deeply for you Gemini's my goodness I feel like you don't even know the the capacity of their feelings for you Gemini's I don't even think you know how deep this person loves you with this king of cups over the moon this person loves you a lot Gemini's and it, it might be even hard for them to put into words I don't feel like they've ever loved anyone um like they love you gemini i don't think they've ever loved anyone like like they love you and i feel like they do have a hard time vocalizing that um but there could be some other things too like some childhood stuff and like i said that ego and that pride will get you every time that it'll get you every time that pride and ego will will have you missing out on some things that are like really great for you and i feel like that is what is this person is afraid of um you know if you you kind of gravitating towards someone that is more loving than them more open than them more vulnerable than them which it won't be hard to find <laughs> because this person i feel like just is 
they they do a lot of things from their pride and ego i will say that and it may have caused you to push uh, it caused them to like push you away or whatever the case may be um gemini's but i feel like a lot of you guys you you're getting to a place where um you know you've learned lessons from this connection and i feel like a lot of you guys are taking those lessons to the next connection um you know and yeah they they don't want that whoever this is they don't want that they don't want that they don't want someone coming to take their spot um gemini's well like i said i feel like a lot of you guys have have gotten to a place where um you're like this person may never like grow up like <laughs> they may never change they may never you know do what it is that i need in in a connection which isn't a bad thing like getting to a place of acceptance isn't a bad thing um gemini's okay lots of cards flips over so i'm not going to take anything because i don't know what's what so all these flipped over all these flipped over um i'm seeing the five of wands on the bottom yikes yeah okay there we go mm -hmm. two of swords yeah gemini's you may have a choice of some sort but again i've, I've seen in in uh i've said in other readings that the two of swords can be about uh calling a truce like this person wanting to um make things right with you which will make sense with this justice here on this side and the two of swords over here on this side it's like this person is wanting to balance things out with you um gemini's because they know you can go and deal with someone else and, and i feel like that's that's what they're in their head about more than anything um gemini's is you going to go and and deal with somebody else let me pull one more for the two of swords again <sighs> what i tell you what the fuck i tell you <sighs> the five of swords and the nine of pentacles mm -hmm. yeah so i feel like gemini's first of all that could be like a self-sabotage or this person may realize that they self-sabotage their connections a lot um but again i'm getting someone um feeling like very competitive like feeling like they have to compete for you compete for your time and things like that and for some of you that is the case um gemini's this could be this person goes back and forth with themselves too regarding you am i good enough um am i not good enough and am I going to be able to measure up to what Gemini wants and what Gemini needs? Um, yeah, so I feel like this person may have some some insecurities that they need to work on, uh, which I've gotten for you in other readings that this person needs. Uh, they need help as far as their insecurities. Gemini's, but I do feel like they are working. There's something here that they're working on. Um and I feel like it's their emotional state, getting more emotionally balanced instead of being all one way. You know, you can be you can be more than one way. You don't have to be all, you know, all masculine or all feminine or whatever. I feel like they're learning to kind of balance themselves out a lot more. Yep, that makes sense. Ooh, that makes sense too. I'll just get a couple of these. Let's get two more. And remember, these are just random words. So always take them how they resonate. The zodiac signs and things like that. Ah, and the water sign is coming out. That's so crazy. <laughs> so we have the six here. And this one is Leo. So this is curtain call. Okay. This one says acclaim, fame, recognition, parade, celebrity, admiration, applause show appreciation spotlight focused attention theater act performance you are watching a movie interesting mm -hmm. all right uh let's start from the bottom work our way up okay so we have labyrinth which is aquarius Lost, delayed, complex, contemplate, it's complicated, going inward, spiritual quest, deliberation, long way home, problem to solve, catch, 
22, a situation to sort out. Yeah, this is what I feel like this person is trying to do. They're trying to find a way to make this work, Gemini's. I feel like they're working on themselves as well. So then we have earn, ooh, which is cancer. Loss, death, forfeiture. Grief, closed up, bereaved, break up, poverty, collapse, dispossess, remove, dismantle, deprive, absence, change of state, setback, it's over, done. Ooh, yikes. Now that could be anything too. That could be this person's pride and ego. Um, so person of water came out. So I told you guys, there's a lot of water here, which is about emotions, uh, Gemini. So Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio is the vibe I get heavily in the reading. Well, like I said, I feel like this person is working on something emotionally um, within themselves, Gemini. And this could be you too, so take it how it resonates. Um, the emotional idealist, emotionally connected, psychic, empathetic, intuitive, sensitive, heart-centered, feels deeply and take things personally, of course. And then we have the thunderstorm card, which is Scorpio. This is kind of like the tower to me. Power, destruction, trouble, electric display, a warning, out of control, energy shift, conflicts, triumph over evil, fierce, booming, conflict, opportunity to overcome. So that's the vibe I get with this Five of Swords here, the Two of Swords. If Especially if you two have had some type of conflict, I feel like they want to get out of it, Gemini's. They want to get out of the conflict. They want to kind of put their guard down. They want to be more vulnerable, all right? Hit that like, hit that subscribe, Gemini's. Thank you for watching. Peace out.